Hi, this is Vishal Savarwal. I am the Group Head Strategy and Chief Marketing Officer at HDFC Life. I am very pleased to participate in the India Marktech and the Commerce Tech Report 2024. Yeah, so, you know, in, in, the, in this world today where physical and digital has blended, most customers want an omni-channel experience, right? Uh, however, organizations might be structured as verticals or functions, as far as customers are concerned, they want the same service experience to be offered in your branches, they want a superior experience to be provided digitally on your website, on your mobile app, or when they visit a partner. So at HDFC Life, of course, uh, there are many things that we do to ensure that the omni-channel experience is seamless. A lot of it has got to do with technology and availability of information either directly to the consumer or via an intermediary. Now the intermediary could be an agent, it could be a bank, or you could come directly to our website and you know have your self registered on a portal and get all the information that you need. Now from a marketing standpoint, what it means is putting all this data about, uh, you know, multiplicity of consumer journeys are there, right? As a consumer, you are visiting the branch today, tomorrow you may come online for, you know, and you want to kind of have the same request handled. Or you might call up a call center. Now all this information has to reside in some sort of a unified data platform, then, uh, you know, be available in the form of a customer relationship management solution, and be pretty much available to every individual who's at task. So that is what we try and do. And of course, uh, proactive communication can be done to orchestrate this omni-channel experience that customer has. So a lot of emphasis is on proactive orchestration of the customer experience. Well, I can potentially call it a trend, but uh, this move towards data privacy and a cookie-less world is probably going to change the way digital marketing is going to operate, right? And therefore, the importance of first-party data is going to become really, really important. Uh, what it means is, uh, you know, you have your own data platform, you have a lot of consumer data which is going in from various sources, your ability to then use that data to build a unique consumer insight, right, which you have, which your competitor does not have, then go out there, uh, go out with a marketing and creative campaign or a brand campaign, then stitch it together with performance marketing campaign, both at the mid funnel level and at the bottom funnel level, right. So some of this is going to change drastically the way marketing operates, but obviously the core principles of marketing, brand consideration, awareness, uh, you know, offering a great customer experience, all that will remain. But uh, data privacy is going to be really, really crucial and all organizations, whether large or small, across the globe have to potentially adhere to this going forward. Yeah, so, so every couple of years, there's a new technology which comes in, right? So now, as professionals, we have to go out there, study these technologies and the impact that these technologies are going to have on our respective businesses and our functions, right? So now in the case of marketing, for example, uh, already in our case, for, uh, we've used it, uh, used MidJourney, for example, which is uh, uh, as part of the creative process, right? Uh, do we use AI or machine learning based algorithms for performance marketing? Yes, we do. But, uh, you know, to build a tr uh, truly strong Gen AI based platform, it is going to take some time and effort. I think the technology is still in its early days. A lot of large uh, big tech players are working on it and I'm sure the winners will emerge over the next couple of years. So it's too early to take a call, but uh, experimentations are happening. Uh, can I say that there's been some real impact in terms of KPIs? Not really. But uh, what we are doing is obviously a lot of the information which is available about our insurance products, for example. Uh, now that information is going to be available, uh, let's say enabled by Gen AI. So you can you know, run your queries and ask your questions and the response will be as accurate as possible. So you can think of it like a chat GPT for an internal audience right now. Obviously, to take it out to a customer, uh, you know, take it outside to external customers is going to be some time effort and also regulation, right? Because uh, only yesterday there was talk about uh, the, gov the government or the ministry 
wanting to regulate the kind of uh, uh, artificial intelligence and gen ai models which are going to be built out there Yeah, I mean it's a bit like asking which part of the brain is more important, the left brain or the right brain. Uh, but yeah, as marketing professionals uh, or any professional for that matter, you need to be able to see the end-to-end -end funnel. Uh, you know, as I've spoken uh, in the past as well, I do feel the creative process is really, really important in the sense that you need to get the consumer insight right, and any. Campaign that should come out has to be built on that unique insight, which uh, you know your peers or your competitors are not able to offer in the marketplace. So that's very, very crucial. If you don't get the creative right, irrespective of the technology that you deploy, you're not going to be kind of successful. However, if you get the see what what is the benefit of getting the creative right? Uh, you get a lot of persuasion, and you know the odds of getting virality are also high, right? Having said that, while creative is important, market as marketers you are always kind of constrained for costs, budgets, and so on and so forth. Now, the right way to kind of optimize your cost and maximize the ROI on your investments in a brand campaign or a performance campaign or a channel marketing campaign is by deploying technology. Now, what uh, deployment of technology means is you are able to see the data real time, right, and course correct it. Uh, so that's as important as the creative side. But obviously, in terms of the pathway, the creative part comes first, and then the technology part comes. Yeah, last few years, I think, uh, the, I mean, a lot more engagement has been happening. You can say with the big tech companies, right? Because the underlying nature of the digital platform is, uh, of of the media itself has changed, right? A lot of the spends which are happening today are happening on. Uh, digital media platforms. Uh, your ability to manage your online reputation on social media is very, very important. Uh, how do you get uh, people to recognize your brand? Right. One, one of the things which has changed is that there is so much media clutter. Just identifying for the right media to reach out to the customer segment that you want to. That itself is a task. Right. So while the options are so many, uh, the ability of the marketing function to go out there, do its own due diligence, do its own research. And then ensure that money is spent, uh, you know, with the right objective, for the right objective, and for the right audiences, become even more crucial than before. Of course, a lot of productivity gains have come in. A lot of optimization has happened in the last few years. So obviously, uh, the importance of the marketing function uh, in organizations has grown, right? Uh, whether it is in terms of new to, I mean, let's say new to book uh, insurers, the new customers that we are acquiring, or in terms of managing. The existing customer base uh, and servicing them. So overall, marketing has become a 360 degree function, which is kind of impacting virtually uh, every line of business which is there in our company, at least. So personalization is really, really important, right? Whether you're buying an insurance policy or going into a restaurant to kind of order food. So a lot of personalization is what uh, kind of ensures that uh, the customer experience moves to the next level of excellence, right? So, so that's number one. Number two, in my uh, experience, uh, customers are willing to trade off privacy information for convenience, right? So, so that's number two. As long as you inform the customer that you're going to use this information uh, for a particular purpose, they're willing to share a lot of the uh, data, right, to to an insurance company or to an institution in general. Now, how do you use what is the holy grail of marketing in some sense? Personalization of one, right? Now, because we work with la large pools of data, and these large pools of data can be around mortality experience, right? It can be about in our business, for example, how many people are going to come and claim against a policy or how many people are going to renew a policy and at what frequency. So we can kind of uh, manage these trends and then advise the right thing to do for a particular consumer. Now it could be a health check intervention, it could be uh, a customer experience related intervention which can happen. It can be informing the customer that you know your policy is about to get paid out so you know we have this information please reconfirm it. So those kind of actions definitely help. Uh, inform the customer that the customer that the company is aware of uh, you know uh, what is happening as far as their policy is concerned 
so, so that's one way of looking at it. Now, obviously, we can also use it for new business acquisition in terms of nudging customers by telling them that a certain pool of customers with a similar profile as, as yours have taken a life cover worth one and a half crores, for example. Or a lot of young customers uh, experience an accident and therefore you need to uh, you know, add on an accident life cover and so on and so forth. So that's where data-driven personalization actually uh, helps consumers make the right decision and also institutions ensure that you know, uh, we are doing the right quality of sale and offering the best customer experience possible under the circumstances.